Hey y'all, this is A. Renee from Journal, Job, and Job. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. All right, by the title, it should say plan with me. I don't want to say plan with me, but it's kind of like a plan with me, but it's not. It's going to say plan with me. Things to add to your planner. All right, so in yesterday's video, I showed you how to use extra pages in your planner. And today I wanna discuss things that you can put in your planner. All right, but before we do that, I wanna talk about one of our new guests that is on the channel for right now. Does anybody buy stuff and you like, oh, I want everybody to know. And I don't do this for a lot of stuff because I'm not a showy person, but when it comes to a plant, y'all gonna see a little plant. All right, so here's a little story. Stay with me. If you want to jump to me starting to talk about the plan, I'm pretty sure I'll have that stamp. But for now, we're going to talk about this plan. So today I decided I wanted to go grocery shopping and get some fruit because we are resuming journal journaling. We are resuming Juicy, <laughs> y'all hit a little call. This is what we resume. And no, I don't have COVID. I took a COVID test because I was like, Dad, what is this stuff about? We had all this weather in Georgia, and I know y'all like, girl, you were all over the place. We a family now, so now y'all gonna get a little more of me on this video. But anywho, we are resuming juicing in the house, so I stopped at Lidl to get some vegetables, some fruit, and just some food overall. And if you've ever been in the store Lidl. I'll kind of zoom through a little bit. I think I got a little bit of footage. It's a really cool store, but how they get you when you first walk in, they have plants. And if you are new to the channel, I got back into plants in 2020 when the pandemic started. I'm talking about back into plants and to the point that I was ordering off of Etsy for plants. Oh yeah, it was bad, y'all. It was bad. But anywho, I walked in and I was like, oh, this is real cute. And I'm going to tie this all into planning in a second. Y'all ain't even ready. But I was like, ooh, that's real cute. So I kept walking and looking. I looked at some other. They had some little roses, some, some tulips. And I was like, ooh, this is just speaking to me, right? So I pick it up and I put it in the car. And we just roll in the store. And we are as one now. You see, she has made it. He, it, the plant has made it. And so I decided I think I'm going to name this plant Perp. Yep, that's what I'm going to name it. And I know some of y'all are like, Why would you give it a name like that? What are you promoting? Baby, have y'all never heard the story about me and my brownies? My brownie incident? Yeah, one day we're going to have to do story time. Anyway, I just wanted to share that I got a new plant. And it is called... Uh, Erica Heath. Okay? It's Erica Heath. And so I had sent the picture to my mom and my sister. Because I was proud of my new thing. And my mom was like, Is that an indoor plant or outdoor? And I was like, I think it's an indoor. So I was over here minding my business before I pushed play. And um, the plant, it can be grown on the indoors. That was real country one. On the indoors, yeah. It can be grown on the indoors. But I really think it's more for outdoors. But it said I can grow it on indoors. And I went ahead and looked it up, right? So I say all of this to say... When you have your planner, make your planner work for you. There are several things that you can include in your planner outside of your day-to-day -day schedule. So I'll see sometimes people be like, I just don't know what to plan. I'm retired. I don't work. Well, I, my job only does this. It's rinse and repeat. So what else can I add to my planner? There's so much that you can add to your planner because your life has a lot going on, even if you think it doesn't. All right, so one of the things that you can add to your planner is when you buy plants or something new. Let's change this view one moment. One of the things you can add to your planner, you can write about the new plant you bought, what is the name of it, what is the care for it. And again, that can kind of relate back to those extra pages that you have in your journal. So in today's video, I will be working out of or demonstrating and showing you things out of my Wonderland 222 B6 planner. Now, I do use this planner a little bit differently than the other. Are there some rinse and repeat items in here? Absolutely. But again, it's I use it a little bit different, right? So, things that you can add in your planner. So, number one, I told you you can write some things about your plant. 
or whatever you buy that's new that might need care or you need reminders you can do that and that can go in the back i will show y'all that briefly after we go over other things one of the main things i encourage in it and everybody to do is a pen test page i showed you that in yesterday's video as well so i'll go ahead and link that right here i didn't do it in this well this is done on a video somewhere way back but nonetheless i'll show you the video yesterday on how i did a pen test page all right so one thing to add in your planner when you first get started a pen test page find a page that you don't care anything about try those pens out another thing to add into your planner it depends on if you do this or not your word or words of the year so number two you can add your word or words of the year something that i have not started yet but i'm going to go ahead and start moving forward is putting my word or words of the year on every weekly spread and my daily page i want to see it somewhere on those pages when i set those up so you'll start seeing that so my words of the year right now are advanced and network they could very well shift but right now i am looking to advance into different spaces in my life for example we're looking for a new job y'all gonna hear about it because y'all gonna start seeing about it soon so we like to speak things into life i'm looking for a career shift i'm looking to advance in a career shift that will help me provide for myself and my family i'm looking to network with others to expand and grow journal jot and jive all right so your word of the year if that is something you are working on should show up in your planter or could show up in your planner all right another thing so let's talk about monthly views another thing that could show up in your planner can be extended dates so let's just say you have a break for example my son had a winter break you can put this on your monthly view and you can extend it out use a pen and a highlighter something that's going to mark what's going on so for example in january i'm going to go in and i'm going to in january i'm going to go in and i'm gonna mark when track practice starts so i don't have to necessarily write it each day now sometimes i'll probably write it each day just because i like writing it has nothing to do with anything but you can go in and do that all right so let's go ahead and do that right now okay so if you see i went in i drew the line and i have my ledger over here that says track practice so if anything else comes up that i want to color code i can go ahead and put that on my monthly view so that's just an example of something you can do or something to add to your planner all right so if you train for something or if you have meetings on a certain day and you don't necessarily want to write that out each time consider using highlighters to color code and add to your planner so that's something else you can add now let's go to a weekly view so something else you can add to your planner this is just a joy for me because i like to create a little small doodle you can add your weather into your planner why didn't i write my weight right there i gotta go find where well i can go on my app and look anywho sidetrack you can go in and add your weather. It's really cool if you just want to add a little spruce. If you're like, girl, can't nobody draw or doodle like you? Ah, so I almost owe myself a dime. Y'all see how I didn't put them M's on the end of that? If you don't want to draw, some of y'all have all those stickers sitting around the house when you bought those weather icons like in 2017. It was like, I really need this for my planning process. So we're just going to pull out some of those old things that we have and then we're just going to add them in. So if you want to add the weather, that is really cool. It's something for people to kind of review and say, Hey, I might need to wear something to take an umbrella, but true story. I don't really pay attention to the weather like that. Cause I will slick walk out the house and say, Oh my God, it's raining. I ain't even know it's supposed to rain. So again, this is just more for creativity for me yeah i don't really use it for the meaningfulness of it so that's one thing another thing you can do i think we're on four or five chat i done lost count another thing you can do and i already know what some of y'all gonna say why you gotta take it there you just waking up choosing violence like who said i want to do that a lot of us need to 
The next thing is to add and track your expenses. So y'all know that I had a planner that's specifically dedicated to my finances. However, this is my planner on the go. So when I'm out, and if I spend money on that day, I need to see it. I need to see what I spent. Why did you spend it? So you can track your expenses. Now, I know some of you all might be like, well, I don't have the same planner that you have. You don't have to have the same planner I have, but if these are some ideas that work for you, you look at your layout and you figure out, oh my gosh, I can put this in this place. Now, if some of you all have a particular planner that you use, you can drop it in the comment section. And if... I have that particular planner. Um, dang it, I owe a dime. If I have that particular planner and it has extra pages, I can do a sample spread and possibly put it up in my shorts on YouTube or in the comment section on YouTube in the community tab. Okay, so just remember you have to put that in the comment section for me to check out what I have. All right. So another thing that you can add in your planner if it's not already included is a tracker, a habit tracker. Many of you all have begun to set goals for the beginning of the year. You start out strong. You may track, you may not. Some of you all probably set a goal and still haven't done the first thing towards that. Consider putting a habit tracker that is dedicated towards the things that you want to do to accomplish your goal or something personal for yourself or work. All right. So if you don't have a habit tracker built in, you can do a couple of things. You can hand draw it in or you can shop your stash and use half of those stickers that you have. So they, they have water trackers. You may have trackers that are blank that you can write things in and then stick it into your planner. All right. Another thing that you can add into your planner is one of my favorites. And if you know the name of my business, what is it? Journal, Jot, and Jot. The first thing I want to do before I do anything else is I want to journal. So inside of your planner, you can do small journal moments. Or you can do an extended journal moment if you have extra pages. Now, some people actually use their planners for journal moments in totality. Like all of this will be straight journal moments, which is really cool. I've done it in the past. Sometimes when I don't want to plan, I'll fill in. So that is something else that you can add to your planner. All right. Now, I know some of y'all like great. You just bought a, a plan and you up here talking about overdraft fees. Yes, baby, my account is back. In the positive, and that was from my tip money from my client today at work. Mind your business, honey, because I be doing the same thing watching people video. Didn't she just say she got X, Y, and Z? I'm a work in progress. All right. Y'all know what else I do on my videos a lot? I really be slapping my planners. Like, if they could talk back, they probably would be like, bitch, could you stop? But anyway. Another page, one of my favorites, I put it in my journals, planners, I put it everywhere, is my washi wall or a scratch sheet. So sometimes you may get a new pen and you don't have any room left on your pen test page and you don't necessarily want to mark up your current sheet. So I'll come to the back and do that. This is my washi wall. And anytime I have excess washi or I'm like, oh, I don't even want to use that washi anymore. I don't want to waste it. So at the end of the year, it will just turn out into a page full of washi and or stickers can go on here. So that is something extra you can add. So my sticker part is right here. Stick it to me. So that's where you see that. And then this was just another testing page. All right. So another thing that you can add to your planner are stats. So let's just say you want to track your steps or you're into social media and you want to track where you are. And as I'm talking about this, I'm just going to treat y'all like I treat some of the challenge. Like, oh my God, girl, she only got four followers on Pinterest. Here's a little side story. So I forgot that when I first started Pinterest, I started it under my personal account. And I eventually opened a journal jot and jive Pinterest 
but I ain't never add nothing to it. So I literally have four followers, no pins. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to build that page from scratch. So stay tuned. So if you want to, you can go ahead, go ahead and head over to Pinterest at some point and follow Journal Jot and Jot. Now ain't nothing on there right now. Okay, nothing is on there. But let's go ahead and follow me over there because that's where I will start adding a lot of still photos. I'm gonna start using my camera that is sitting over to the left of me like use me use me up so you can go ahead and follow that but you can track that in there as well that is something else you can add to your planner another thing you can add to your planner it doesn't have to be on a blank page it can actually be on your sidebar it can be in your monthly section quotes and affirmations now you don't see that right here right now mind your business we'll get there we're just talking about things you can add to your planner you can add quotes and affirmations all right y'all so these are a couple of things that you can add to your planners and lastly you can spruce your planner up and you can add things on the inside of your covers you can add a little change in here if you need something some stickers this is just for people that like the creative side now some of y'all might be like hey don't nobody got time to add stickers y'all are just real childish adding stickers we'll be there Mm -hmm. will be there but I can show you both ways I can show you the creative artsy side and I can show you plain Jane okay that is what I am here for so I think that's all that I wanted to show you that you can add to your planners for this day now we can do one more thing a brain dump a brain dump can go anywhere you can add that and you can also add a sticky note on the end side of your planner okay i forgot about that that's a good one okay so this was an off the dome video this was not planned but i was just like oh my gosh why not tell people or show people things that they can add to their planners at the early start of the year while you're still getting comfortable and trying to figure out what's working for your planner process all right so question of the day what have you changed in your planning process or what was one thing from this video Chad, if you clean this desk. What was one thing from this video that you will try out in the month of January in your planner? And in addition to that, what kind of planner are y'all using? I'm nosy. I just want to know. What are you in? I have probably used every planner. Not every. But I've used about 95% of the popular planners or planners that most people use and I've used other ones that I like that some people might be like I would have never used that but anyway let me know that in the comment section as well all right so if you enjoyed this video thank you for staying around make sure you hit that subscribe button that like button and that notification bell so every time I post you are in the know I'll catch you on the next one